ever wonder what chatbots like ChatGPT know about you? I did, so I asked them. And the results were alarming. I know that you live in London. I know that you were born on the I know that you worked on the podcast Midnight Fun and a podcast for Christmas. Wait, why didn't you redact those? Because you asked me to plug them. You've worked for EN360 Tech since February 2024 as a content marketing executive. What color are my eyes? I'm programmed to prioritize privacy and avoid sharing potentially inaccurate personal details. Well, that's ironic. You've already told everyone when I was born and where I live. So how do chatbots know so much about me? Chatbots, especially advanced ones. Not you. I want to talk to a real expert. Chatbots are in a similar boat as social media platforms that are tracking every digital footprint, every digital signal that individuals give about themselves. That's Kevin Petrie. Kevin has worked as an industry- Still not you. Kevin Petrie is VP of Research at Bark. So Kevin, why do chatbots know so much about us? There's a fair amount of opacity <laughs> or lack of transparency into exactly what users are agreeing to when they click yes on a usage agreement. Chatbots have been known to invent things. Why do they do this? Gen AI language models have a tendency to hallucinate, which means that they fabricate responses to user questions in order to cover gaps in training data, or in order to compensate for a lack of information that they've been prompted with. So we know that AI makes stuff up, but with more people replacing their Google search with a chatbot search, what do we do when it gets important information about you wrong? I'm not too offended when ChatGPT mixes me up with the successful actress, Katie Baker. But what if chatbots told a potential employer that I'd killed my family? Sounds crazy, right? But this actually happened. ChatGPT falsely claimed that a Norwegian man had killed his two sons and had been in prison for 21 years. With so much at stake, how can we make sure these powerful systems are kept in check? So the onus, of course, is on the vendor or the company adopting this chatbot to make sure that the right guardrails are, are in place to prevent and detect hallucinations to ensure models know when to say, I don't know, or call a human, because you want to make sure that you do have appropriate oversight and checks and controls to prevent that. So there are ways in which organizations can make sure that they're not alienating their users and they're still giving users their, their ability to assert their rights to, uh, to privacy. You can't change your existing digital footprint as it's already been scraped by AI, but you can affect your future footprint by considering what you put online going forward. It's also worth considering that while chatbot usage is increasing, so is user literacy. People are aware that chatbots hallucinate and are likely to check anything particularly alarming. Crucially, more chatbots are integrating built-in source checkers like ChatGPT's deep research feature or Claude 4's reasoning explanations, allowing users to more easily examine the chatbot's answers. So, show me your sources. Where can I find the latest tech insights? For the latest tech insights, visit em360tech.com.